Welcome to Southern Maryland Sports Journal. I'm your host, Travis Thomas. You know, as football fans, we dedicate our entire weekends to the sport. Friday night lights are dedicated to the high schoolers. Saturdays are for the college boys. And Sundays, God once famously said, let there be the NFL. But few of us fans really realize how much preparation it takes going into battle. He's going to be a sleeper. What? He's the one you should have put your money on. Steak dinner. Uh, <laughs> still Kobe, huh? Okay. You keep on waiting on Kobe. You're going to be eating the waffle. Go ahead. No. <laughs> right! Set! Set! When I messed up, when I messed up, my coach used to rip me a new one. Okay? And I looked at him, and the very next play, I definitely made up for it by punishing somebody. When you guys mess up, you put your head down, and then your whole world goes south. Why? Aren't we in practice? Yes, Aren't you going to mess up in practice? Yes, and that why we practice? Yes, so if you mess up in practice, and we yell at you, your next play should be perfect because we're going to repeat the play, and you do the same exact thing you should have done the first time and be perfect. You understand that? Yes, That's the whole point. There you go. Oh, come on, come on. Is that it? Nice. Ready? Right. Let's go, let's go. Right. Is that it? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Just make sure I got my, my silver dollar. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony. Yep, <laughs> Susan B. Anthony. Right. Is that it? There you go. Do I want to be running side by side with a receiver like this? I want to be like this. This is how you get interceptions. I'm trying to train you guys to get interceptions. Would all that preparation pay off for the Hornets at home hosting La Plata for homecoming? We pick it up in the second quarter. Hornets down 14 to nothing. When Jan Zeba, see ya, returns the kickoff for the Hornets touchdown. Speed kills. Hornets tack on two points, 14 to eight at that point. Jump now to the third quarter. Hornets down 34 to eight when senior QB Jose Vasquez is inserted into the lineup and finds Zeba again, this time for the touchdown through the air. It turned into the Jose Vasquez show. Here he links up with Patrick Foley who fights for another Hornets touchdown, 41-20 La Plata. More instant offense from Vasquez, this time to Rashad Goldring who wins the foot race, but the Hornets lose the game despite Vasquez's three second half touchdowns 41 to 26. What about moving forward with Jose Vasquez? I mean, obviously from what we saw tonight, he threw three touchdown passes fairly quickly. Uh, do we move forward with him as a starter? Well, he's definitely going to be starting next week. Uh, we'll get him in practice, get him warmed up, and then we'll just take it from there. I mean, every day is a competition. You know, those guys know that even if you are considered a backup on the death chart, you are competing for the starting job. And I always tell them, cream rise to the top. No matter where I put you on the death chart, if you are good enough to be the number one guy, you will beat that guy out and show it and prove it to us. We had an inside look at your practice this week and appreciate you giving us that access. Uh, now that you go to 0 and 5, what do you do in practice maybe a little differently to try to get the guys focused on getting that one win? It's tempo. I mean, it's tempo. And it's, it's you know, I tell them football is not one, it's, it's not about on the field, it's in the heart. And, and the bottom line with this type of game here, you know, what makes it so great is that you are taking another man and forcing him to do something against his will. And when you get that going, then you're going to win because you're not going to get pushed around. You're going to, do the, you're going to be the, the hammer and not the nail. And that's the biggest issue. We've got to find that heart. Appreciate it, Coach. No problem. Good luck next week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Former St. Mary's College basketball alum Jeff Burrell is making a major difference with the youth in the African-American community. Burrell funded the Basketball for Life Foundation with the intentions of bringing awareness of education, health, community, and faith to the youth, using the love of basketball to spread his message. There's a cycle in Southern Maryland, in our county, where high school is the pinnacle for a lot of our people. And we need to raise the bar a bit. So the way we raise the bar is to give more opportunity for our young people instead of really ridiculing them and putting them in a position where they can go to jail. So you get in a position where they can go to college, reach a higher education. Our next event coming up is we're on February the 14th, right here at Great Mills High School, where we'll put on the biggest basketball showcase in the county. 
We will have literally 15 colleges right here in Great Mills High School, the NAACP, NSBE, and other organizations to come together and make sure we give opportunities for our young folks. Not just that, in the basketball arena, you'll see literally the best coaches, including Chris Herney from St. Mary's College of Maryland. We have basketball players from Great Mills High School, Leonardtown High School, Rankin High School, all right here at Great Mills High School, putting on a showcase. The first game of the evening was started with our military veterans. We put on our veteran game. The idea is to give love and support to our military personnel as they support basketball for life as well. That's going to do it here from Great Mills High School. Thank you for watching Southern Maryland Sports Journal with me, Travis Thomas, exclusively on MetroCast Channel 10.